Hey everyone, so uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve a linear quadratic system. But in order to do that, let's talk about what a linear quadratic system is. So I'm going to link this back to something you already know, namely linear systems. So you might remember that a linear system is when you are considering two lines at the same time and they might have a point of intersection. Okay, and the idea is that in a linear system, the solution is going to be the point of intersection, okay, between the two lines. Well, a linear quadratic system is when you have a line and a parabola considered at the same time, and they intersect. So, let's take a look at what that would look like. So, <clears throat> let's see, I have a line on a grid like this, right? And then I have a parabola, so maybe the parabola looks like that. And I want you to notice that the, uh, the line and the parabola cross each other looks like two times. So this is one possibility, right, where the line and the parabola cross each other at two places, giving me two points of intersections, or basically two solutions. But there are some other possibilities. So another one's going to look like this. So if this is my line, my parabola could kind of come up and just barely touch that line at one point, okay, in which case I'll have one point of intersection. Or lastly, I could have a line like this, and then my parabola could go entirely underneath that line or entirely above that line potentially, right, where they won't cross at all, ever. Um, and this would be a case where I have no solutions, okay? Now, um, just really quickly, I want to point to this one in the, uh, in the center because that has a name. So we say that when the, the, the parabola and the line kind of touch at one point like that, we say that the line is tangent to the parabola, right? And you're going to need to know that for a couple questions in the homework. Just remember that it's called, that, that we say that they're tangent to one another. Anyways, let's take a look at a specific problem. So we're going to solve uh, the following linear quadratic system. So if we have y is equal to 2x squared minus x plus 1, right, that's our quadratic, that's our parabola. Right, we need a line as well, the equation of a line. So let's say we have y equals 4x plus 4. So these, these are uh, two here. This is going to form our linear quadratic system. Right, we've got a line and a parabola. So um, <clears throat> remember that when you were doing linear systems, you learned two methods to solve them, uh, substitution and elimination. Um, with linear quadratic systems, you can't really do elimination. You're going to be relying on something which is essentially substitution. So what you need to know is that at the point of intersection, uh, the y values and the x values are going to be the same. Well, since the y values are going to be the same, specifically these y values, we're going to basically substitute one equation into the other, right? We're going to substitute one y value into the other. So if I substitute 4x plus 4 in for the y in my quadratic, that's going to look like this. 4x plus 4 is equal to 2x squared minus x plus 1. And we've actually created a quadratic equation here. It's not in the proper form to solve yet, but it is a quadratic equation. So let's put it in the proper form. So I'm going to subtract 4x uh, and 4 from both sides. And I'm going to collect like terms. And I get 0 is equal to 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. So that's a quadratic equation, right? And solving this quadratic equation is basically going to give me the x values of the points of intersection between the, the line and the parabola. Okay, so solving this will give me two x values, and they're both the x values of the points of intersection. Okay, so <clears throat> at this point, I'm just going to take a moment to stop here, and before we find the points of intersection, we might want to first ask ourselves, okay, how many points of intersection are there going to be? Because we know that there could be two, but there could also be one, or there could be none. So to find out the number of points of intersection before we even solve anything, we're going to rely on the discriminant, right? What we learned about the other day. So we're going to take the discriminant of this particular uh, quadratic equation that we've created, right? So how many uh, point of intersections are there? We'll take the discriminant. So we check b squared minus 4ac. So b is negative 5, a is 2, and c is negative 3. So when we substitute them in to our discriminant, and we get 49. So since that's positive, that tells us that we're going to get two points of intersection. Okay, two points of intersection. So now let's actually find out what the points of intersection are. So we're going to take our quadratic equation. So 0 is equal to 2x squared minus 5x minus 3, and we're going to solve it. And you could solve, this, solve it using any of the methods that we talked about. You could use the quadratic formula. You could complete the square. You could factor, whatever, right? So <clears throat> you could use any of those methods. Now, I'm going to factor in this one. All right, so we're going to factor the quadratic. And once you factor it, you're going to get 0 is equal to 2x plus 1 times x minus 3. So I'm not going to show you the steps I used to factor it. I'm going to assume that you guys can factor by now. All right, but that's what you get when you factor it. You can check it if you like. So once that's factored, I know that I have something times something equals 0. And that tells me that each of those factors should be equal to 0 to give me a solution. So I suppose that tw uh, 2x plus 1 equals 0. In which case, I get an answer of x equals negative 1 over 2. And I suppose that x minus 3 is equal to 0, in which case I get a solution of x equals 3. So the idea here is that the points of intersection between my line and parabola right, have 
<clears throat> there's going to be two of them again, like we said. One of them is going to have an x value of negative 1 over 2. The other one, other one's going to have an x value of x equals 3. So to find what the actual points of intersection are now, all I need is I have to, I have to substitute these back into one of my original equations. So let me, uh, let me write these original equations back up again. So we had y equals 2x squared minus x plus 1 for our parabola, and our line was y equals 4x plus 4. <clears throat> so I'm going to substitute my x values, right, both of them, into one of the equations or both the equations. It doesn't really matter. Um, I suggest using the line because the math is a little bit easier. So I'm going to use the line here. So we're going to substitute x equals negative 1 over 2 into y equals 4x plus 4. So we get y equals 4 times negative 1 half plus 4, right, which gives us uh, a y value of positive 2. Right? And that tells us that we have a point of intersection at negative 1 over 2 and 2. Right? Our other point of intersection, so we're going to substitute 3 in, we get y equals 4 times 3 plus 4. That simplifies to give us 16. And so our second point of intersection is going to be at 316. So our two points of intersections are negative 1 over 2, 2, and 316. So this has been how to, how to solve a, a linear quadratic system, guys. Take care.